Good morning. Welcome to Birds and Bulls of the Global News Network. Today is December 22, uh, three days before Christmas. I'm your host, Benji Chidosho, an advocate of uh, cooperatives and social entrepreneurship. Today, we're very fortunate, practically a Christmas present, to have uh, people like Antonio De Castro, who's into earthworm sanctuary. Actually, when I met him at Wild Park the other day, I said to myself, I must have this person on board in the television show because uh, everybody has heard of vermiculture and composting. So please, uh, Tony, can you introduce your, your, your organization, exactly what is your vision and advocacy for, I think it's about natural preparation of the land, soil, etc. It's please. organic farming. Okay, thank yes. you. Yeah. Uh, good good morning, Benji. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas! Yes, Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I, uh, I'm really an advocate of um, earthworms for both the issues and of, uh, of waste disposal, mm -hmm. our trash problem, mm -hmm. as well as the way we produce our food. I think there's some, something fundamentally wrong with the way we throw away our trash, which I consider a resource, mm -hmm. and that's the way nature does it. Nature doesn't really have trash; it's recycled, it's reused. And that's how life begins again. But the way we throw our trash is we collect it and put it in a dump mm. where it causes problems. And then we grow our food using chemical fertilizers when we could be using that uh, biodegradable waste as fertilizer. Mm. And what's good about earthworms is they can solve this problem. The earthworms can take trash, uh, especially biodegradable waste, you know, the things that are, are, are get rotten, spoiled, mm -hmm. Um, and cause methane gas to, um, to be emitted. Earthworms eat this. It's mm. their food. It's not trash, it's earthworm food. And where do we get these earthworms? And, this, and the, the thing oh, is, you, what, what do you when, have there? when the earthworms eat it, their poo poo yeah. looks like this. Oh, can you, the camera focus yeah, on this? Their poo poo looks like this. Really uh -huh. rich black soil that's the best organic fertilizer. Okay. So that means our trash is not trash. Our trash is organic fertilizer that the earthworms do naturally eat it and produce this for free. Mm -hmm. so, that, so that then we solve our, our big garbage problem like uh, in the Philippines, payatas. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we make fertilizer so that the farmers no longer have to um, buy fertilizer and they can produce their own fertilizer. And what best of all is we eat food that's healthy, okay. that's organic. Now. For farmers, this is a real big boon because um, they no longer, if they can produce it, imagine if farmers can produce their own fertilizer, they no longer have to buy it from companies that are importing their yeah, fertilizer. Okay. So the, the biggest cost of farming, especially for small farmers, is fertilizer. But we can't produce it in the Philippines. We but how come we only heard about this? Uh past five years or three years. I mean, uh, uh, I know the Filipino farmers have been, ha, are into indigenous farming, but what happened to us? How come the earthworms disappeared along the way and we got all these chemical fertilizers? That's a, that's a very good question because this is a fairly new, um, uh, the, the using chemical fertilizers is fairly new. It only started 50 years ago. All the time before that, it was always chemical, uh, it was always organic fertilizer using mm -hmm. the waste People didn't have So done. we did all this before? Yeah, this was done before. Okay. That's why um, our, our place called, our, our company is called Earthworm Sanctuary. And, and what it does is that, and you can see it on the screen oh, now. Oh yeah, Angels of the Earth, yeah. fantastic name. And, and I'll tell you something interesting about that name, Angels of the Earth. It's, it's not a cutesy name. Yeah. That's actually what the Chinese call earthworms, angels of the earth. So the Chinese are also into the, this? The, the earthworms, the Chinese knew about this long, long yeah. time ago. And then they're using it. And, and one of the more surprising things, uh, Benji, is that even um, uh, uh, Darwin, Charles Darwin, mm. who wrote the book uh, Origin of Species, 